Okay, welcome. Now, in this video, I want to continue my discussion on animation. Okay. Now, remember, I, I told you that the heart, the heart um, pushes blood through the arteries, capillaries, and veins, okay? So it pushes blood through a network around your body. Um, and here are the steps involved, okay? So number one, uh, blood gets oxygen from the lungs, okay? So O2 from lungs, okay? And the oxygen um, it causes blood to be red in color, as I said, okay? So oxygen from the lungs. Number two, it moves towards the heart where it's pumped through an artery to the body, okay? So moves to the heart, goes through an artery, goes to the body. That's number two. And the big arteries branch off into smaller ones, as you'll see later. Step number three, uh, eventually they flow through capillaries, right? Eventually blood goes through capillaries. And my marker's dying, I have to use another marker. Sorry about that. Okay. As I said, the capillaries are smaller, the small building blocks of vessels, blood vessels, right? And they sit up, sit next to cells. Number four, um, the oxygen moves from the blood in, in the capillaries through to the cells, okay? So it goes to cells, right? And the cells use the oxygen in respiration. Remember, as I mentioned, respiration is is a creation of energy. Okay, it allows us to live. Okay, for things like respiration. Even this is dying. Can I use another color? Okay. Okay, and uh, the blood that's lost basically when it's used for respiration. So when the blood is lost, it becomes bluish, bluish red in color, right? That's number four, number five. Now from the capillaries, the blood moves into the veins and back into the heart again, okay? Where the cycle restarts. So from capillaries, it moves into veins and back into heart, okay? Back to the heart. The heart collects the blood and it pumps it back to the lungs. Starts to move again. That's the cycle. Okay, um, and basically blood um, is filtered in the kidneys, right? It's in the liver and the intestine. It gets its nutrients, right? So filtered in kidneys, right? Your kidneys are like a filter and gets nutrients in liver and intestines. Let me now talk about the heart. Now, this is going to get, get a bit complicated, so if you have to pause the video, pause it. If you want to rewind it, just rewind it, okay? I'm sure your notes will have a lot of um, information on this, but I'm going to try and break it down as much as I can. It's very complicated. This is why it's hard to become a doctor. Not anyone can become a doctor. You need brains. Uh, there's a lot of stuff to remember. The human body is like a car, basically. Okay, very, very complicated. So let me draw the heart if I can properly. Here we go. This might take some time. Okay, so that's the heart basically, that's what it looks like. Okay, things looking at the heart, okay, you can think of this if you can. And so let's say that's your head here, that's your body here, your head's here. Your left lung will be here, right? So when I talk about the left ventricle, is this thing. Left, think of, think of it being a mirror image. So left ventricle, this is called the left ventricle. This is called the right ventricle. Okay, so if you can just memorize half the heart set, you can automatically know what the other half is going to be. Okay, this is called the left atrium here. Atrium. And this is called the right atrium. Okay, so if you can focus only on one half of the heart, it should be okay. What else? Okay, this goes to your right lung, this tube. Remember your right, right lung is here, left lung is here. Goes to right lung, 
And this goes to your left lung. This big tube here is called the pulmonary artery. Okay, contains two tubes that takes blood to the left and right lung. This is called the aorta. Actually, I'll, I'll take back what I said. I think you should know what both parts of the heart are. This is the main artery, the aorta. Very important you know this. The main artery. Okay, it carries blood to the body. You've got the pulmonary veins here from the right lung. Starting to get messy here. I do apologize. Pulmonary veins from right lung, from R lung. That's right, R for short. And you've got the pulmonary veins, these things, pulmonary veins from left lung, L lung. Okay, very complicated, but that's about it. Okay, so it's the heart is basically a double pump. Okay, it's a double pump which pumps, pushes blood to two different places. Okay, your lungs and your body. The right side of the heart pumps blood to the lungs. The left side, oh, sorry, yeah. The right side pumps blood to the lungs. Let me write that down. So, right side of it pumps blood to lungs. Okay. The pumping chamber is called the right ventricle. This is the pump, pumping chamber, right ventricle. Now, blood travels along the pulmonary artery and again, it divides into two later on. The pulmonary artery was here. Divides into two, right? Okay, so blood enters the aorta, oh sorry, the atrium, and it and the ventricle pumps it out. Okay, very complicated, but if you have to rewind, rewind. I'll just pause, It'll take a minute. So if you to get an idea of how big uh, the how big your heart is, just clench your fist, right? Your your right fist, clench it. It's about that size, okay? So super fit athletes, uh, in terms of heart rate, okay, your normal heart rate is about 90 to 120 beats a minute for kids. For adults, it's about 70. For super fit athletes, it's about, it's less than 30. Now, why is it less, okay? It, it doesn't really make sense for you to exercise more and have a lower heart rate. Well, because the more you exercise, the better your heart rate will be, okay? The less, the less, um, the less that your blood needs, the less your heart needs to pump blood around your body, right? It's more efficient. Okay, um, what causes a beat? Okay, nerve, nerve impulses. Okay, generated within the heart. So the heart creates, create, the heart is like an electrical device, right? It, nerve impulses generated within, within the heart trigger each beat. Okay, they're electrical pulses, each beat or pulse. Okay, your heart is actually made of cardiac muscle. Cardiac muscle. Okay, this is a really strong muscle which makes up the heart. And the heart is basically, as I mentioned, two pumps joined together to do um, separate jobs, right? You have oxygenated and deoxygenated blood. Oxygenated and deoxygenated. Oxygenated is rich in oxygen, rich in O2, not rich in O2, but deoxygenated, okay? Example is your veins. Your veins carry deoxygenated blood. Your arteries carry oxygenated blood, okay? And that's this lesson.